Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I said that I would avoid and just ignore this guy, but... Alright, well, let, let's see what's up here. Let's talk to him. Aha! Come to test your steel and wits against me, lad. Well, I hope you have sharpened both, cause I'm about to... No thanks. How long has Morgan been sitting there? Uh, I can't say for sure. She's been here since before LeChuck did me in, that's for certain. Just sitting there. She won't even insult sword fight me. Every time I toss out a taunt, she just agrees with me. Well, this is cheap. I wanted to fight this guy, and now he's just talking. Oh, by the way, <laughs> um, yeah, as, as many of you noted in the comments, yeah, now I noticed that this, this guy's uh, character model looks a little bit like Bug Eyes. You know, the, the, uh, the, the, pi the manatee club leader. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, it happens. So what's, what's going on? Arr, matey! Come to match wits against me! No thanks. Ah, then you must want to know how I lost me head! No, Chuck, cut I, I, oh, I kinda wanna fight I you. See. So you just came over here to waste me time then? Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, can I just take the sword? Pardon me, mind if I borrow this? Hey! The Chuck stuck that in me for a reason, you know. The Chuck? Aye. He came back after me and me mate stole some gold turtle from him. He chopped off me head and asked me to hold that for him. In your decapitated head? Yeah. Oh, he just wanted to kill me, huh? That'd be my guess. Aye, that makes sense. That sudden realization. Is it in my inventory? Okay. So, yeah, let's do this. So, you're ready to fight, eh? I am, but not with you. I just want to say thanks for the sword. So, thanks. Oh, am I supposed to be, uh, fighting Morgan? On your feet, Mo. Let's do it. Fine. Yes, now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Wait, what's it's going on? It's hopeless. What? I can't believe I once studied under the greatest swordsman in the Caribbean. What's going on here? Hold on. Wait, I got confused. Can you two say that again? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. It's hopeless. I can't believe I once studied under the greatest swordsman in the Caribbean. Oh, wow. I'm doing like a... a, a duel against both of them? That's... pretty cool. So wait, what was that again? I'm... I, I was still not over this this interesting uh, wait, thing. Wait, I okay. got confused. Can you two say that again? I once owned a dog that was smarter than okay, you. Okay, a smart it's dog hopeless. versus... I can't believe I once studied under the greatest swordsman in the Caribbean. So, something about smart dogs? Well, dogs are very smart creatures. I'm not sure what you meant by that, but I interpret it as, Morgan, you are a big, fat loser. I no, didn't. I didn't I mean that. To get it. I'm useless. Huh. That's interesting. I'm gonna assume that I don't have like an item or something progressed. Um, maybe I do, but I'll will come back to that. A oh, boom. Good luck with the sword fighting gig. I'll be back. Oh, that's just the way out. It may be possible that I'm able to do that right now, but I'm going to explore. Wow, that was... That blew my mind. Um, so what I was beginning to say in the last video before I kind of, you know, got interested in the map, I, I, don't, I think the only reason to be here is just in case you didn't get the grog from before, but... I'm gonna backtrack just in case. Yeah, I figured this would be be here. Hey, old creepy bones left his tip jar. I'll just hold on to it for safekeeping. All right. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I think the rest of my bills are too wrinkly for the machine. The machine's... Oh, well. The machine's... I'm pretty sure everything is sold out anyway. The machine is trolling me. I have to click to get out of this. It's silly. Um... But yeah, I figured since the boatman wasn't there, I was watching the uh, the video editing. I'm like, oh, maybe he's not even here anymore. So that can be useful. That said, I want to go see that uh, those other places. Uh, so that's... Mm, these dens seems more interesting. Let's do that. Welcome. Uh, welcome, fellow thief. You are a thief, aren't you? Of course you are. You wouldn't be here if you weren't, am I right? Sure am. Of course I'm a thief. Excellent. Make yourself at home. Feel free to look around. We have many valuable stolen items here. I keep them around as trophies. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. This looks a little more like a... Like a pawn shop. <laughs> let's, see what, let's see what happens if I talk to this. I'm air quoting right now, thief, because he looks like a hipster. Also, hmm, is this a new character model or is this a repeat? I don't think I've seen this model before. Hmm. Excuse me. What is it, friend? What are all these things? Those are the things I have stolen from the poor, unsuspecting pirates passing through. Some real gems there, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that you said? Um, uh, I didn't say anything. Are you sure? I thought you might have said there was something behind me. There's a three-headed monkey? There is? Well, I'd better turn around and look at it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why, I don't see anything over here. Why, what? It, it seems like he's playing a game with me. I'm gonna take this Are you sure you meant box. behind? No. Secrets aren't meant to be stolen. Yes, they are. What the hell's wrong Maybe with if you? I try squinting. Hmm, sextants ready to be stolen. Is there anything else ready to be stolen? Temptingly okay, unwashed urns. I'm going to keep looking for just a little bit longer. But then I'm turning around. Actually, peg lag seems well, like I something see I would actually need to use here. in a Funky Island game, so I'm going to take it. I hate to be a bad host, but I'm afraid you have got to be moving on. What, did you catch oh. me or something? Okay, then. I can't have this place full of thieves all the time, or people will stop coming in, you know what I mean? Well, thank you for being so accommodating. Speak nothing of it, friend. Feel free to come back at a later time. Uh, what the hell just happened? Hold on, let me go back. Did I at least have the peg hey, leg? wait a minute! Some of my stuff is gone! That two-bit thief robbed me! Pretty smoothly, too. No? I mean, unless he got some of this, but... Pretty sure this is what I had when I came in. He must have just took the peg leg back. That's odd. Let's keep talking to him. Oops. Excuse me. What is it, friend? Hey, the last time I was in here, you robbed me. Aye, of course I did. And you robbed me as well, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Epic stare down. <laughs> ah, you got me. <laughs> What's a few stolen items amongst thieves, eh? <laughs> good times, good times. You might be hearing a, a dog in the background. Sorry about that. I need to get out of here and return to the land of the living. Can you help me? Not in the slightest, friend. Maybe you should talk to Galen, but then you can't believe everything that guy says. Who's Galen? Hold on. No, he doesn't talk about it again. Oh yeah, his hands are missing. I didn't notice. What happened to your hands? LeChuck happened to them. I guess he still held a grudge from when we stole the summoning turtle from him when he was human. He came back and slaughtered us all. What, is everyone here, uh, people who who died by LeChuck's hand? That should be, that might be useful to know. 
maybe I can get like a, a band of people to gang up against um, um, against LeChuck and kill him. So, what kind of thievery skills do you have? The usual friend. Pickpocketing, lockpicking, safe cracking, and creating artificial buying pressure for a generally low trading volume issuer in the over-the-counter securities market. Yeah, me too. Did you steal everything in here? Most of it, friend. Well, keep up the good work. Oh, I am, friend. Well, okay. So he wants me to rob him, so I can, so he can rob me back. That's odd. What's the deal with this thing? Ah, that's an old one, friend. They say that toe juice encrusted sock was once worn by LeChuck himself. The thief who stole it claimed he slipped it right off the zombie pirate's oozing um, undead foot without being noticed. I don't. I don't Funny think. I don't. He showed up here in the afterlife, still clutching the. I sock have a feeling that this is not the type of sock that you're thinking of. You mind of. if I uh, steal it? Actually, I'd prefer you just take that one. It's really starting to stink up the place. Ew, no, 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 don't, don't, don't take that. that. You don't know where that's been. Oh. I mean, I have a dirty mind, so I have a pretty a pretty good idea of what that sock was for. But uh, I'll keep that to myself. The Sock of LeChuck. It has the fetid stench of an undead athlete's foot. You can just use your imagination or whatever you will. Um, anything else? Peg legs? How did he manage to steal all of these without the wearers noticing? Ooh, scrolls, parchments, and maps! Winslow would be so happy. Oh, where did he go, Winslow? Um, I guess he's still on the ship waiting for me. I guess he's gonna be waiting a long time. Scales. Ooh, shiny. Seems like something I would want to have. Let's see what else is here. How'd you manage to steal this? Funny story. I was running a con on Dead Eye Drake, trying to get at his collection of gold cannonballs, when he hauls out this thing and asked if he can have it shipped back home. <laughs> I even charged him 300 pieces of eight to do it. Oh, how that guy survived as a pirate for more than two years is beyond me. Wow! Hmm, not quite sure what the gimmick is here. What's the story behind this? I lifted that right out of the pocket of Betsy Bilgewater. Stealing that was easy. Trying to steal a kiss got me a swift kick to the boys. Yikes! Hey, nice! I had a collection of autographed sextants too! Do you have a Vasco de Lama? Ah, <laughs> I'm sure that I do. Wow, what a coincidence! I think that these were stolen by, uh... I think this guy stole the sectants from Guybrush, and he's just being stupid. This is interesting, I don't know what to do there. Maybe it'll Good become... Good luck I gotta go! Come back soon, friend. Maybe it'll become more clear what I need to do, uh, later. So, treasure hunt. Treasure! All you ye can dig! Oh, I want all that gold. Whoa, it's a treasure hunter's dream in here. I matey, help yourself. If there was ever a treasure in life you were meant to have, just do some digging and she'll be yours. Uh, I think you got a hole in your chest, dude. Oh, look at all these X's. I don't have a shovel, though. Yeah. Greetings, fellow dead guy. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. My uh, I know who you are. You do? Wow. I knew I was getting pretty famous, but who knew my legend extended into the afterlife? Legend schmidgen. We bumped into each other back on Spoon Isle. Oh, yeah. You were one of the guys trying to beat up LeChuck. How'd that work out for you? You tell me, smart guy. Wait, this is Ooh. the... This is the Oro. This is the guy who, who wanted that glass eye in last episode. <laughs> 
I mean, of course, it's not the same person, I'm just saying it's the same model. Whatever. <laughs> there sure are a lot of X's around here. Well now, aren't we the observant spirit? Were you some sort of scout in your former life? Or were your age-dulled senses restored to the fullness of youth after you passed away? I'm a mighty pirate. Of course you are. We're all mighty pirates down here, schmuck. And this is the treasure hunter's paradise, with never-ending caches of pirate booty found under each and every X, oh, as far yeah. as the eye can see. Wow. See, like I said, apparently hell isn't that bad here. What are you doing? Why aren't you digging up more treasure? Yeah, I'm taking a break, counting up what I have so far. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you wind up with that massive hole in your gut? Mind? Why should I mind reliving the horrifying moment of my demise? Um... That was rhetorical. Oh, okay. As you recall, when me and the boys heard that the infamous demon pirate LeChuck had been turned into a human, we thought we could make our reps by giving him a good pirate thrashing. I remember. Even as a human, LeChuck was too much for you guys. Aye, but I got in a good left hook or two before he got away. So? So, after Captain McGillicutty's unfortunate demise, we decided to start up our own little swashbuckling crew on Spoon Island. Nice place. Lots of fish. What does this all have to do with the hole? I'm getting to it! Sorry. So anyway, we were right in the middle of procuring a suitable ship for pirating, when suddenly, BAM! My box is cured! I did that. Well, goody for you. Unfortunately, I didn't have long to enjoy my clean bill of health before the evil demon LeChuck sailed up, stuck one of those newfangled Hungarian cannons in me stomach, and pulled the trigger. Guess he remembered that left hook. You know, you could have just said, LeChuck shot me with a cannon. What's wrong with a little colorful narrative? You know, something just popped in, into my mind. And this is something about, I, I don't know if LeChuck was playing the Long Kong, uh, Lon, <laughs> Long Con all along, but if he was, I, I wonder what he was doing with the monkeys, because he was clearly very interested in the monkeys. Okay, what? Can you show me how the treasure hunt works? Sure, why not? A pirate can never have too much treasure. Oh, you get a shovel and then try to... Oh, I'm... He's distracted. Hold on, let me take something. Hmm. It's surprisingly light. What is this? An anchor. I'm not gonna let it hold me down. Don't hold me down. Oh, yeah. Nice treasure pile. Maybe I need to give this to the uh, the pawn shop guy. I don't know why, but oh, maybe it would be too heavy for him to lift it. Splice the main brace! Another bag of gold! I tell you, I'll never get tired of this. Hmm. This looks as good a spot as any. Oh, I guess I have a magical shovel because I know I don't have one in the inventory. Yikes. What? Flying sand fleas! <laughs> Little pieces of the, um, of the pirate parrot. Uh, so, this is what happened to my cursed pirate parrot of Petaluma after Desinge obliterated it. Oh. Can I catch it? In a bottle? Hey, where are you going? Come back! Oops. I guess I got too close. Let me try it again. Oh, great. More tiny parrots. I guess since he got atomized into a million bits, there are going to be a lot of these guys. So if this guy actually, if the, if the parrot actually died, I guess the singe did die. Okay. It wasn't pretty clear to me whether or not he actually died. It was kind of off-screen death, but 
Then again, I did hear that wh wood chipper sound, so I guess he did get just demolished. Uh, I don't think there's any way I can catch these parrots right now. Maybe later. All right. I think that's how. I think that's the idea, though. Use the bottle to catch them. All right. Let's go to the crossroads. Uh oh. He's gonna take my money. Because that's what he wanted before. Well, let's talk to him anyway. Maybe he won't take my money. <laughs> that sm putrid smell is so familiar. Yuck. Oh, he smells my what? money. Oh, that's LeChuck's sock. I guess it is pretty rotten. Oh, Sorry. that's what it is. Oh, so that's that Galeb they were talking about before. Though now I don't remember who was talking about Galeb. Oh well. Well, I still have my money, so that's good news. Excuse me? I have a few questions for you. What's on your mind, Deepwood? Where am I? And what is the crossroads anyway? The crossroads are where the physical and spiritual realms meet, and where your journey into the afterlife begins. From here, you can choose your final fate and fulfill your pirate destiny in Phila's Green. Or maybe you'll just mope about like a schlub. Personally, you look a bit like a moper to me. What are you doing here? You might say I'm a lost soul trying to find my way, but I can't seem to find my guide dog. I've been here a long time, so if you get lost and need some guidance, you come see me. Maybe I need to find his dog. I don't know. Do you know the voodoo lady? Can you be a bit more specific? Maybe a name? I've known a lot of voodoo ladies in my Her time. name is Matamushka. I, uh, never got her name. No, it's Matamushka. I mean, it may... It may just be my nickname, but, you know, just... By the way, hopefully sometime that will trend. Voodoo ladies who have a crystal ball and are mysterious are called M Matamushka. Just... That's the way it is. Anyway, I would like to I know this. I noticed I have a shred of life in my pocket. Why? Everyone shows up with something that they cling to. You must have thought that staying alive was pretty important for some reason. Well, yeah, I... Me? I brought a corn dog. I love corn dogs. Okay, weirdo. Must be Elaine. Uh, that he wants to go back to. Where did the creepy boatman go? His only job is to ferry arriving souls to the crossroads where they can choose their eternal destination. Once he's done his job, he'll no longer appear to you. Also, he said he had to leave early for his sister's baby shower. Has anyone ever been able to return to the land of the living? Nope, never. No, sir, can't be done. Are you sure no one has ever been able to return to the land of the living? Whoever told you a thing like that? Of course it can be done. What? Why, I you just told me no. I a handsome young pirate who returned to the land of the living once, hoping to reunite with his one true love. That's what I need to do. LeChuck, I think his name was. LeChuck? But he came back to life as, in order, a ghost, a zombie, a demon, a living statue, and a killer walrus. I don't want to be any of those. Don't think that true love thing worked out too well for him either. Things started getting awfully crowded around here after he returned to the living. Well, how did the truck escape? He just grabbed himself aboard, caught a gnarly wave, and was out of here. Are you lying to me? Well, I don't have any what, surf. What did I say? That he surfed his way out. What? No, that'd be stupid! LeChuck what? returned to the world of the living with a powerful voodoo spell that he obtained from the other side. A spell? Yep. And if there's one thing I know about, it's spells. What happened to the spell LeChuck used to return to the land of the not dead? Some say it is locked away in a vile treasure chest and hidden somewhere in the crossroads. But no one knows for sure. Well, it's been great talking to you, strange old man who kind of smells like olives, but I don't plan on sticking around here in the afterlife. My wife is still alive out there somewhere. 
You do that. You might be surprised at what you find when you get there, though. What do you mean? I died like two minutes ago. Huh? Okay, that was interesting, but I'm, I'm getting away from this guy. I think he has some mental problems. He can't keep his own straight, uh, his own story straight. I always wondered what it would be like to be dead. I think I expected a bit more pomp. Circumstance, even. And the crossroads is great and all, but, you know, a 21 musket salute wouldn't hurt. A chariot. Ooh, pirate chariot. A choir of sirens exalting my name. You know, a little something. That was interesting. I wonder why the music cut out there. I also see something hanging off of this tree. Uh, at least I think that's something <sighs> hanging off the tree. You see this little uh, purplish thing hanging off here. I can't seem to click it, but I think that's something I want. Maybe it's just part of the artwork. I don't know. This must be the center of the crossroads. Yes. This is the point at which every soul must choose their ultimate pirate path. You may choose sword mastery, thievery, or treasure hunter -ry. How piratey. Why not all of them? Alright, well I haven't gotten much done. Well, let's try this. I'm gonna see if that Welcome gold anchor back, does something. Friend. Like maybe I I can try to take something, but he won't be able to because this uh, this thing is too heavy. So hold on. Excuse me. What is it, friend? Would you mind? Uh... There's. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take. Well, I don't see anything over here. I'm gonna take. I guess I can't take the box. It told me I couldn't. Are you sure you meant behind? So I... Time to go, friend. Oh, right. Till next time, friend. So hold on. Um, no, I still have the anchor, but I don't have whatever I took, so, or the peg leg. with the pilfering. I gotta go. Come back. Yeah. So I don't know quite what's going on there yet. So maybe I can solve this. I didn't really take much time. I wanted to see all the places first. Alright. Let's do this. On guard! Fine. Yes! I'm the most cunning pirate on the seven seas! Do you know what my IQ is, boy? Seriously, on a scale of one to ten, how terrible a person am I? Okay, let's see. So I need to make him... Oh, I think I get it. I think that, you know, if I was to say perfect 10, it would make her happy, and it would make him, you know, upset, because his IQ, it would be like his IQ is 10, but her looks are 10 out of 10. So, would that work? I'd say a perfect 10. 10? Oh god, I am a terrible person. Wait, what? <sighs> I don't get this at all, then. Let's try this again. On your feet, Mo. Fine. Yes, now we're talking. I'm getting in on this action. I'm the most cunning pirate on the seven seas. Do you know what my IQ is, boy? Seriously, on a scale of one to ten, how terrible a person am I? Oh, how terrible a person she is. So it would be like negative one? Yeah. Also, I know this. Obviously, it's not this, because I already tried that. So... 
Let's do this and think that's the same theory. Negative one, if that. Yeah, I think I've got. I think that I got it. Smaller men quiver at my unmistakably masculine swagger. The way I wave this sword around, it's like I'm a little boy. Okay, so smaller men. By the way, this is really cool, but man, it's hard to keep to. For me, at least, to remember what they're both saying. So hold on. Uh, wait, I got confused. Can you two say that again? Smaller men quiver at my unmistakably masculine swagger. Okay, so he's big. The way big. I wave this sword around, it's like I'm a little boy. So he thinks he's bigger than them. She thinks that her sword skills are lame. So, make her happy with the, which she's no little- no? You're all woman? Oh yeah, because he was- he said something like a manly swagger. So if I make him think that he's a woman and she's a strong woman, let's- let's try this. Believe me, you're all woman. Yeah, I got it. My uh, career as a pirate hunter was about as successful as my career as a marathon runner. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Um, you can run that fast. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is from the this is from the first game. Damn it! <laughs> you can't do that. You run that fast? You know what? You're right. I was a darn good pirate hunter. Sure, I made a couple of bad decisions, and my enunciations could apparently use some work. But as long as we are both here in the crossroads, I can still make it up to you. You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some breast spray. Oh, he got stabbed again. Wow, I didn't think that you had it in your lass. Now my head and I can move on and you can be the guardian. You just have to stay here until someone comes and challenges you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, you deal with that on your time. I'm off to battle on the endless seas of Davy Jones' locker. You know what? I think I will stay here and challenge the weekend. I'm pretty sure he put his head on wrong. I knew you had it in you, Mo. Listen, I am sorry for the way I betrayed you. If there is any way I can help you, just ask. Okay, let's talk. Hey, you? What's up? I'm beginning to think that it was. Uh... Are you sure it wasn't Desinch who killed you? You sure acted guilty. It was, uh, Didn't you pay LeChuck. any attention to my dying words? I clearly said, don't trust LeChuck. He's hypnotized a bunch of monkeys and ran me through with my own blade. That's weird. I heard you say, DeSinge is a schmuck. When he got thirsty, he killed me for some lemonade. In my defense, it should be noted that you were coughing up a lot of blood at the time, so something may have gotten lost in the translation. See, now... That's why you don't spread rumors, kids, because people will misinterpret what you said, and that's how rumors get started. So that's a lesson for you, children. Um, but yeah, I guess it looks like uh, it was not the singe, it was LeChuck. I wonder why. Did LeChuck even know she existed? Hmm. Did Galeb try to sell you a picture of your spirit at the crossroads, too? He tried, but I don't like people taking pictures of me. It's bad for my business. Sounds like he got his camera fixed by the time you got here, though. I have an idea how to get out of here. Guybrush, forget it. We're dead. Yeah, but LeChuck was once able to escape using a voodoo spell. I just need to find it. Really? There's a chance I can return to the living world and continue to take down pirates? Present company excluded, of course. Seems that way. Well, if I can help in any way, let me know. All right. We're going to get out of this. We're going to go back to life. It's going to be cool. Hey, when you crossed over, were you still clinging to a shred of life too? Shred of life? No. But I guess it makes sense for you, considering everything you left behind. Oh. Is she saying that she didn't have anything to live for? What would you say was the most important thing to you when you were alive? My independence, probably. I liked being my own woman. Still do. Oh, okay. I must have misinterpreted what she was saying. I thought she was trying to say that she had uh, nothing to live for. That would be that would be depressing. 
I have an idea how to get out of here. Guybrush, forget it. Okay, it's yeah. the same. It's really? the same conversation. Seems that. Well, if I. Um. Don't run off. I don't think I'm allowed to. <laughs> so, I guess maybe I need to uh, get someone to challenge her. I don't know. So, all right, that was actually a really fun puzzle. Um, it kind of racked my brain a little bit because I had to uh, think about two, two voice, uh, two, two pirates at the same time. Really cool idea, though. But um, I guess I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs> see you.